what's up, Daniel Kaiser here on day one of E3 2008, where we're taking a look at the hottest headlines from the day, brought to you by T-Mobile. Microsoft officially kicked off E3 2008 by inviting everyone to jump in and find a way to play on the Xbox 360. Hardcore gamers were treated to in-depth walkthroughs and new details from highly anticipated titles like Bethesda's Fallout 3, Microsoft's Gears of War 2 and Fable 2, and Capcom's Resident Evil 5. Headlining the list of announcements was a new multiplayer mode in Gears 2 called Horde, and the ability to seamlessly jump in and out of friends games in Fable 2. There was also confirmation of an online cooperative play in Resident Evil 5. Microsoft also showed its revamped Xbox Live that utilizes avatars similar to Nintendo's Miis and announced a partnership with various content providers like Netflix and NBC Universal to bring even more shows and movies to the service. Best of all, you can even invite friends to watch them with you both online or off. If rhythm is your thing, you'll be happy to hear about the new karaoke style game called Lips. While Guitar Hero World Tour's inclusion of R.E.M., Metallica, and the Eagles will go toe-to-toe with over 100 new songs in the entire back catalog in Rock Band 2. ACDC will be appearing for the first time ever in video games exclusively in Rock Band 2. But by far, the biggest news from Microsoft's E3 press conference came from Square Enix when it shocked game journalists by announcing that Final Fantasy XIII will launch on the Xbox 360 day and date with the PlayStation 3 version of the game in both North America and Europe. Okay, that's going to do it from here at Microsoft's press conference, but let's head over to EA and see what they've got in store. As the largest third-party publisher in the industry, Electronic Arts had quite a few games to talk about, ranging from legendary developer BioWare's upcoming RPG Dragon Age Origins to Will Wright's Super Evolution Simulator Spore. An in-game demo from Dead Space delivered an intense and visceral scene from the upcoming action shooter, while Gabe Newell's demonstration of Left 4 Dead showed how the game will adapt to the skill of its players. The promising-looking Mirror's Edge made an appearance with an all-new trailer and developer walkthrough, while NBA legend Bill Walton took the stage with EA's Peter Moore to break down a new dynamic DNA system in NBA Live 09. LPGA hottie Natalie Gulbis even took her best shot at EA's new all-play initiative on the Wii in Tiger Woods 09. Pressure's off. You already beat Oh, I know it did. <laughs> That's going to do it for our coverage of day one of E3 2008, brought to you by the new T-Mobile Sidekick LX Tony Hawk Limited Edition. For continuing coverage of this year's show, keep it locked to GameTrailers.com. I'm Daniel Kaiser, and I'll see you soon.